one of the things that's been most exciting to me in the convocation that we've had is this whole uh, understanding the members of the congregation being able to choose to be part of a new entity that we can construct that will be focused on our mission and our ministry, making God known, loved, and served. But still, we're willing to go forward, and I, I think this will happen. It's just a matter of, of time. I just sense a very, very strong sense of togetherness. And so for me, it's been very, very positive uh, in that regard. From our history, we, knew that, we know that Father Dujaria began the Brothers of St. Joseph with four young men and very inexperienced young men. Father Moreau began the congregation with a handful of brothers, still inexperienced, and five priests. Well, we're more than four, we're more than five, and we're more than a handful. They relied on God's inspiration and providence. We could do as much. The convocations, I think, are superb. And the reason I say that is, is to see the sharing and the insights and the forethought. What was the highlights for me? are the prayer services, if you will, and the Mass. And my faith gets supported when I am uh, in the room again uh, at, at liturgy. Where, well, where brothers gather in the Lord's name, uh, the Lord is in our midst, and the Spirit was of God is, is has been with us and is with us. Uh, there have been some very moving uh, events and experiences, uh, especially today, where in a sense we were offered the chance to make a commitment. That these processes are most successful when people constantly engage in conversations from the heart. We have been 120 members gathered together, which is the same number that was present on Pentecost. So it's my hope that this will be kind of a, a new Pentecost for, for Holy Cross. The word I would say is that uh, there's still great hope. You know, the brother's vocation can be very, very challenging. But from what we are seeing here, it can also be very, very encouraging that uh, the brother's contribution is not only to themselves as individuals, but also to the church. And uh, I think what has been there is their faith. The faith in, in God, the faith in the church. The first was that we might have an opportunity to come together to get to know one another. We have a, a future, you know, we have a vision and we are ready to work for that vision. I firmly believe that I have been called by the Father and led by the Spirit to offer my life, my talents and creativity, and my life's work in the service of the Lord for the needs of the church and the world. Therefore, I make to God a vow of chastity, poverty, and obedience according to the constitutions of the congregations of Holy Cross. May God, who allows me and invites me to make this commitment, strengthen and protect me to be faithful to it. I think there's a lot to hope for, and there's a lot to, to work towards. Despite what the numbers may say, there's a lot of energy that the brothers have. I think that the, you know, the highlight is that the people want to see change, want to see uh, a new entity emerging. We 
don't know, but uh, let us move forward in uh, confidence and uh, faith that the Lord will be with us as uh, the Lord has been all these years uh, with the congregation has led us on.